Welcome to Civil Engineering Fanatics. Today we'll be discussing what is open excavation method of soil exploration. Open excavation, often referred to as the trial pit or test pit method, is a direct method of soil exploration where it involves exploring the subsurface condition of a site. This soil exploration method involves digging pits at specific location to examine the soil layers firsthand before planning construction activities. Soil exploration is a critical step in any construction project as it provides information about ground's composition, strength and water condition. This information is vital for designing appropriate foundations and structures. We have already made videos on various types of soil exploration methods. Today, we will be explaining one of the direct method of soil exploration, which is open excavation. The link to the other videos will be provided in the description below. What is open excavation? Open excavation are pits that are excavated at required intervals or location near the area of construction to study the subsurface strata and the strength of the soil. We perform this exploration to collect the soil samples in areas where a building structure and foundation needs to be planned. For a better understanding, Trial pits are also called as intrusive method of soil exploration. Here, intrusive means physically disturbing the ground to gather information. So this involves techniques like boreholes, excavating trial pits or probing the soil to obtain direct samples and the measurements. Coming back to our topic, trial pits are excavated at the site such that the subsoil is exposed thoroughly. We will see various levels of strata during the process and the soil sample are collected from each strata. In some situation, while excavating, groundwater is encountered. This is seen in pervious soil. In such cases, we provide additional lateral support and the groundwater lowering method to avoid collapse of the soil layers. In situation where the depth need to be greater than 1.2 meters, based on the texture of the soil, we go for lateral support to prevent structural collapse. Objectives of Open Excavation Method Open excavation or the trial pit method serves several objectives in soil exploration. Number one is subsurface profile characterization. To provide a detailed understanding of the soil layers, their composition, their thickness and the arrangement beneath the ground surface. Number two is soil bearing capacity assessment. Open excavation method have the objective to determine the soil ability to support the proposed structural loads by evaluating its strength and compressibility characteristics. The third objective is groundwater level determination to identify the depth of the water table, which is essential for foundation design as well as construction planning. Number four is excavation feasibility assessment to evaluate the potential for soil instability or collapse during excavation for the foundation. Number five is site grading and preparation to identify areas of varying soil conditions, say hard soil or soft soil that may require adjustment such as trimming, ramming or leveling. Number six is planning home extension to provide crucial information about the ground conditions as well as the foundation depth and strength for an existing building so that we'll get an idea whether it is safe to have an extension for the current building. The location of trial pits. The location of trial pits must not be made too close or no too far away from the foundation location proposed. As shown in the figure, we choose the trial pits based on the requirement and the proposed structure. Around four to five trial pits are excavated near the building periphery. The minimum dimension of the trial pits excavated is 1.2 into 1.2 meter, considering a plan size to provide access for the operators or the workers. The maximum economic depth of the trial pit is 4 meter and the minimum depth is 1.5 meters or the depth of the foundation proposed. Trial pits are observed for few days to observe any entry of the groundwater. This helps to understand the source of water passage, if any, in the future and helps to close or divert the water channel for future construction. Let's check to a simple guide to conduct open excavation. Conducting a successful open excavation requires careful planning and execution. Here is a basic guide. Number one is planning and preparation. This starts with proper site selection. We choose location that represent the site's conditions and avoid areas with potential hazards. Later, we choose the equipment. 
assemble necessary tools equipment including shovels picks buckets and safety gears we go for permits so that we don't face any kind of interruption from the local authorities last we have safety precautions we implement measures to protect workers from cavins equipment hazards and other risk number 2 is excavation and sampling this activity starts with digging We excavate the pit to the desired depth ensuring stable slopes. Excavation can be either done by hand or by machine. Hand dug pits are often preferred for small scale investigations or areas with known subsurface structures. If there are known subsurface structures like utilities, water, electric cables, etc, we go for hand dug pits. In other cases, we go for machine excavated pits for pits in larger area to avoid potential ground disturbances. Then we go for soil description. We observe and we also record the color of the soil, its texture, its structure as well as the moisture condition. Then we go for soil sampling. From a trial pit, both disturbed and undisturbed samples can be collected depending on the required test. Disturbed samples are suitable for general soil properties, while undisturbed samples are crucial for determining the soil engineering characteristics. Then we go for groundwater observation. we measure the water levels and the infiltration rates if necessary third step is data recording and analysis which starts with documentation we maintain a detailed record of pit location pit numbers depth soil description and the sample details we also take photographs of the pit as well as the soil profiles for reference then we go for laboratory testing we conduct appropriate test on soil samples that are collected from the trial pits like grain size plasticity and strength finally we have data interpretation we analyze the collected data to assess the soil condition and make engineering recommendations given all these details about open excavation method let's summarize one of its advantages as well as limitations open excavation is a direct observation method it allows for direct visual inspection of soil profiles and layers It is a cost-effective method compared to other soil exploration method and it is less expensive for shallow depth exploration. Versatility. It is suitable for various soil condition and project types. Detailed sampling. It enables collection of undisturbed soil samples as well as disturbed samples for thorough analysis. Groundwater assessment. It can also help to determine groundwater levels as well as the infiltration rates. Limitations of open excavation. depth restrictions it is not suitable for deep excavation safety hazards potential for cavins especially in unstable soils site accessibility may be difficult in rest- restricted places weather dependence it can be affected by adverse weather condition and last we have environmental impact it provide potential soil disturbances and uh, erosion issues while conducting open excavation method there are few safety measures that need to be followed site security to prevent accidents and injuries trial pits should be adequately fenced off to alert and restrict access for unauthorized personnel pit closure once the soil investigation and sampling are completed the trial pit must be promptly filled and covered to eliminate hazards and restore the site to its original condition open excavation is one of the direct method used for soil exploration there are also other direct methods used and that will be dealt in detail in our next video if you like this video let us know your support by liking sharing and subscribing to our channel civil engineering fanatics